Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are uh, we're gonna put some cooling fans on the uh, STE uh, Mini X. Um, this machine has a uh, Yanmar diesel, um, and it already has a radiator uh, and hydraulic cooler. Um, but one thing I noticed, and I didn't really like the, and you'll see here in a bit, but the radiator and the hydraulic cooler are stacked together. And I just don't know that it's 100% efficient. So I'm just going to add some fans, a couple 12 inch electric fans. I'm going to put one on that side over there. Over there is where the hydraulic cooler and the radiator is. Uh, you'll see when I get these panels off. I'm going to get a fan there, uh, sucking air in, uh, blowing across the cooler and radiator. And then the engine fan, which is also pulling, um, will continue to pull that air this way. And then I'm going to put another 12 inch fan on this side blowing out. So essentially all our air, cool air will come from that side all the way through the engine bay out here uh, and help us run a little cooler. And also too, it'll help keep some of this metal from getting so hot because as it's not as bad as a lot of them I've run, uh, this one after five hours still did get kind of hot to the touch uh, on these panels. So this probably isn't a necessary uh, mod on this particular machine, but it is necessary on a lot of other ones. So today I'm just gonna just gonna show you guys uh, the easiest, simplest way that I know how to add electric fans to one of these machines. Well, we found us a shady spot to do this video today. The garage is still kind of messy from a project a couple of days ago, so we're gonna move this uh, this job outside in a little shady spot. But I got most of everything laid out already that I think I'm gonna need. Uh, I got my quick splices. I'm only going to use these up by the ignition, uh, and that's where I'm going to tie these fans in. Got uh, two rolls of 16 gauge wire, white and red. Uh, got my connectors. I'm going to put these connectors on it, male and females. Um, the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to attach these fans to the side panels. And, you know, if I ever need to get back in there and take these side panels off, I can just unplug these fans and side panels come right off. I don't have, these already have the round connectors on them, but I don't have any of the, uh, any of those. So I'm going to cut these off, add my own. Uh, hardware the fans come with. I normally don't use this, but I may. Uh, but I got two fans. These are 12 inch, 12 volt fans, 80 watts. Um, got my tools that I think I'm going to need. Probably end up having to go get more tools. Uh, if you've ever worked on anything, that's normally the way that goes. But uh, let's start ripping the panels off this thing and get into it. All right, we've just removed our access panels. Went ahead and took off both sides in the back door just to make it easier. Uh, as you can see, just that gives us full access to about everything on this machine. So there's my hydraulic cooler and my radiator. As you can see, like I was saying, they are, I mean, they're right up against each other. All right, so our first fan, the uh, blade, is on backwards for the way we need it so we're just going to pop it off real quick it's just a little eight millimeter take the nut off Just flip it right over. Go back on. Seats. Is that seat down there? Yeah. Put a notch. Yeah. All right. And we'll hook a little juice back up to it. Make sure it's. I don't remember which one it was. Why don't you go this way first? 
Put a little power to it. <clears throat> Fingers out of the way. Oh, one. All right, so that's wrong. So on these fans, you can hook hot or ground to either wire. Um, hooking it one way will reverse direction. Uh, hooking it one way will blow one way. Reversing the polarity will blow it the other way. Got tongue tied. That's what we want. Put that up there in your hair there and let them blow you away, son. All right, so we got this fan ready to mount. Okay, so we just got the first fan installed. We didn't get to install it the way we we're wanting to. We thought we were going to just put it on this panel, but that 12 inch fan is too big for that arch. Um, so that didn't work. Probably should have got a 10 inch fan if I wanted to mount it there, uh, but this will be okay. Got it mounted up, got some zip ties on it. Uh, it's good and sturdy now, can't move. So we're going to uh, get the wires ran to this one and then we'll start on the uh, other side. All right, so this fan is on, wires are ran. So now we're gonna work our way around to the other side. We're getting the other fan mounted on the other side. It is going to work out uh, the way we wanted it to. Uh, it's kind of at an angle, but uh, it's going to work out. We uh, already dry fitted it, and it's looking good. So we're going to get it mounted here, uh, hook some power up to it, get our fans spinning the right way, and then uh, we'll get this uh, wired up and get this panel stuck back on. All right, so we got our, uh, got our hots hooked up, got our grounds hooked up. I'm going to set this panel on there. We'll test this fan out. I believe blue on this side is hot. And black is our ground. About to find out. I believe that's right on this side. It's opposite of the other side. There we go. So we got fan over here pulling in through the coolers. The engine fan's also pulling in. And we got this fan blowing heat out. Let's get it back together. All right, guys, we just got it back together. All the panels back on. Hit our key. See if the fans come on. Oh, disconnects off. Sucking in over here. Blown out over here. That's how you put electric fans on one of these. Thanks for watching.